One of the easiest ways to make your design stand out is by using frames. And in this video, I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways to create frames and we're going to do that using Canva. Let's get started. So you'll sign in into your Canva account. If you don't already have a Canva account, you can use the link in the description to sign up. It's also going to give you access to using Canva Pro for free for 30 days. So once you're in the Canva dashboard, you can start creating your design. So you could go to here where it says create a design and then you could look for the kind of design you're looking for. You could say maybe you're looking for a youtube thumbnail an instagram post any design so i already opened up my instagram post design here because i've already preloaded some of the shapes we're going to be using to create our frames so let me show you the ones i have i have a cut here i have an all there yeah and we have a last blank page so to be able to get designs like these ones and they're the best to use when you want to create a frame you can come to this elements tab here and then you can search for silhouette so it's going to give you many things here but what we're looking for is the graphics yeah so you can go through some of them to see whether there's any that you like which you would want to create a frame from for example this one would be a really nice one you can create a frame from that one okay so once you've chosen your silhouette for example this one you now come to the apps tab here and then you're going to search for frames so we have several apps here the one we want is this frame maker here so the first thing that i want you to note is that if you click these three dots here you can see that this is created by repixel so if you try to use it and it tells you to first of all create an account with repixel that's not a problem you can actually just go to the website and then you have the options here so you see you can have a free account here which has unlimited shapes free forever growing shapes library and then you have the premium version here and you can try it out for free for seven days so you see you have unlimited shapes you have everything that is included in this free version you have growing shapes and then you have convert any design into canva frames that is exactly what we are doing now so now going back since i've already linked my account so for this tab that says create you can be able to create a shape by just moving these points here so you could have this point move here you could move it here you can even double click anywhere here and it is going to create a new point here so this is the new shape that it is creating yeah if you want to remove any of the points you can just click on that and then you can now come and delete the points that uh, you don't want to be part of that design yeah so that is one way okay but that is not the one i want us to use i want us to go to this convert tab here and it tells us that how this works is that all the elements should be connected or overlapping i'm going to show you what that means later on number two when exporting select the page you want to convert to a frame and the third one is that you must make sure to check the transparent background option when exporting your design okay so now we're going to come to this convert design to frame here and then the file type is already selected for us it is a png so for the size here you can increase it all the way up to the end remember to check the transparent background option there okay so you also have select pages here ensure that you select only one page at a time so that you're able to create your designs so we are on page one here then you click on done and then we can now export okay so now we have our frame here and it resembles the image that we had or the shape that we had to begin with yeah so you can see it here so you can make it as big as you would like i just want it to be almost the size as what we had initially there and on this frame you can now add photos you can add videos you can even add colors so for this first one we're going to look for a photo so we could look for a photo of maybe a wine glass okay so you can have uh some photos here yeah and it could be any photo we can even use this one here so you just hover it over your frame and this is what you have you can also double click it just to ensure that you're able to resize it within um your frame it could be any photo i could even change it to this one yeah so this could be our new photo and maybe we just pull it up to there yeah, so within seconds, you already have a frame that you can use. And by the way, if you're enjoying the video, ensure you like it and subscribe to the channel. It really helps with the algorithm. Let's move on to the next frame. So for this one, we are going to use this all. So again, we are going to go to the app section. And again, you're going to find that our frame maker is still here. Yeah, so we go to the convert uh, tab there, convert design to frame. Again, we are going to ensure that we select the page that we want to work with. So now we are working with page two. 
yeah and then we're going to increase this once again click on the transparent background again we're just going to click on export so this is not going to work for every single silhouette that you find you might find that for some you're not able to get the frame but we have our old frame here yeah so again we're just going to make it big delete this one here for this one we can just add a color so we could use the colors that were used in the previous photo here or you could just look for other colors here for example i could decide to have this green yeah so you can just play around with this until you get something that you like in the next one we're going to repeat the same process just so that i can show you how to add a video into this so we're going to again click on convert um, the design and then we're going to ensure that uh, we select the page you're working with you can see that our previous pages here have already been reflected to having what we've added to them so that is what we are working with yeah and then we pull it up to there click on export yeah okay so now we have our fox here so for this one we want to add a video so we could just use the wine glass as previous but now we are looking for a video so maybe we could use uh, something like this one so you just hover it over your frame and then now you can play it yeah and if you want to you can just uh, move it where you'd like so you have um, your fox there and then you have some wine you know being poured into the wine glass so i think that looks really awesome yeah so that is something that you can do it really makes your designs stand out so in the last section here i want to show you something really interesting because you can create your own custom shapes and then create frames from them so i'm going to go to the element section here yeah and then we're going to look for some shapes and i have some that i had recently used and now we could just start adding them randomly here so we could have this one here okay so let me just pull this up there so we could have this one here and then maybe we could add this one so you see we are just creating a random shape here yeah so you see we are trying to um come up with something that we can use you can even rotate this one there yeah so you see this did not exist anywhere before we are the ones who are sort of um, creating it. So now if I go back to the app section in the frame maker, then go to the convert tab, you'll see where it told us in the very first point, all elements should be connected or overlapping in the design. So you see these elements we've put here, we've not really connected them or grouped them, but they're sort of just overlapping. Yeah. And then now we can start creating a frame from this. So you can see it tells us that videos, audio and animations won't play when exported as this file type. So you can try downloading it as a video mp4. So that is important uh, for when you'll be downloading the one with the video. Okay, so we have our frame here. Yeah, I think it looks rather lovely. Okay, let me just duplicate here so that on this page we have just the frame. I'm going to delete all these other images there so that we have only the frame here. So this is the frame uh, we've custom made and you can add a photo in here. So let's find one of the photos that we had seen earlier. Yeah, so this can be our new shape. Yeah, so that can be the new shape that you're working with. I think it looks really awesome. Try it out and let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also watch the videos on the screen to learn even more ways of how you can use Canva. My name is Paris and I'll catch you on the next 